Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2022 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do a clone effect. What am I talking about here? Look on the left side here, you'll see that I've got this guy. Uh, he's in the desert with a what looks like a Hello Kitty vacuum, vacuuming up the desert. Okay, man, maybe the guy, he might have hit the pipe a little hard, or maybe he ate the wrong mushrooms. Um, all good, sometimes you got to vacuum the desert, so be it. What have I done, though? Well, <laughs> in... Uh, in honor of him tripping hard balls, <laughs> I've gone ahead and made multiple copies of this person vacuuming the desert. So these are clones of him. And you'll notice that I don't use blend modes. I'm using linked uh, compositions from After Effects. So here's the original shot. Like I said, dun, dun, turn off the clones. All right. There he is. And then with the clones on. How did I do it? Well, let's start from scratch. So I'm going to delete everything. And we're going to go step by step all the way through it. I'm going to delete all this stuff until we just have the video. So here's the video. First step, drag and drop it into your timeline. Here we go. Excellent. You'll see here that there he is. He's just going ahead and vacuuming the desert. Now, because this is a very uh, intensive uh, um, uh, CPU and GPU intensive uh, process, I'm just going to reduce this down to two seconds because I'm just going to show you the technique, but I don't, you don't need me going into like, you know, hours and hours of masking and stuff like that. That's just crazy. So I'm just going to show you how it works. So we've got two seconds of him vacuuming the desert. The next step, I am going to right click on this and I'm just going to nest it. Why not? Okay. And I'm just going to call it nested sequence. Who cares? Now, here's where it gets good. Right click on your, on your, on the, on the footage. And we're now going to go into After Effects. So when you right click it, you can now replace with After Effects composition. Do that. Good stuff. Now it loads up After Effects and it'll look just like this. And uh, here we go. So here we go. We've got it in After Effects. And yeah, there he is doing his thing. And yeah, there we go. So now let's go ahead and we're going to do what's called rotoscoping. And I'm going to do it very, very quickly. I'm just going to show you the technique. I'm not going to go like super fine tune it. So I'm going to double click on this here. And then I'm going to go ahead and, well, let me just do that, right? So I'm going to double click on it. And then you'll notice here that I'm in the layer panel. So once you're in the layer panel, you can now go up here to the top into your, into your toolbar and select the Roto Brush tool or option W. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically draw over top of this guy with my little green marker. And what I want is I just, oh, well, I'm out of bounds there. Never mind. I'll zoom in a bit. Let's go zoom in. And then I'm going to hold down the space bar key to move it around. And what I want is I just want to get him without any of the background. So I'm going to hold down the alt or the option key if you're on a Mac. And I'm just going to draw that there. So I'm just going to get rid of this little piece that I don't want. All right. Come on, Curtis. There we go. Something like that. All right. It takes a few seconds because this is a you got to get this right at the beginning. And then once you've got this right, then it's green and then it's just open season. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and select this. I'm going to select more of his shoulder here. All right, that's looking pretty good. We're getting close. And that little snippet there. And I, I know that this is kind of tedious, but hey, this is the work that we're doing here. It's worth it in the end, as you can see. So I'm not going to bore you with all of this. So I'm just going to go really quickly. Oops. Let me hold down the spacebar key. And let's see what we got here. Uh, let's get his shoes. Good. Let's get his shoe here. Get a shoe there. And then, we, of course, we want his... Uh, vacuum <laughs> so let's do the vacuum all right we're getting close guys there we go something like that and okay now I'm just gonna take this piece out and I'm gonna take this piece out and what do we got I think we're pretty close I'm gonna take this little piece out in between his legs here even though that won't matter too much um, I'll take it out just in case so we have a pretty accurate selection let's go ahead and take that and now I'm just going to hold the space bar down. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to show you the technique. Oh, you'll notice here I missed part of his face. So that's no good. So let's get that. And here we go. One last thing. So there we go. Get rid of this little piece here. All right, good enough. Now the next step is you want to move forward in time. And you basically just want to make sure that you've got the right part. So I'm moving it forward step by step. And you'll see here as I go through it. It's not too bad. Maybe I'll add in this part of his shoe here and this little white part of the vacuum isn't quite the way I would like it. Zoom up a bit. That looks pretty good. And you want to basically zoom through and just make sure that you've got the right stuff in the shots. This is very tedious, but once you've got it right, 
yeah, it looks awesome. So just assume that the rest of this is correct, even though there might be a few issues. But I just want to show you how to get on with the technique. So I'm going to go to File, and then I'm going to go to Save. Once you save this, it's now going to round trip back into Premiere Pro. And once we're in Premiere Pro, we can go ahead and do the final fun stuff. So now let's open Premiere Pro. And yes, presto, we're going to go here. You'll notice that it's red. So that means, yeah, it's sort of thinking and it's and it's <laughs> it's not fully rendered. So there you go. Now you can see that there's no background. This is all transparent in the background and that's just him. So what am I going to do? The first step, I'm going to go ahead and move him up to video track two, which is fine. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the original footage and put it underneath it because that way we can start making some fun and we'll have the background image or the background video as well. So there we go, I'm gonna make it the same size. So now we've got the original footage on track one, we've got the rotoscope stuff on track two, and now I'm just gonna double click and now watch. There we go, I'm gonna move him over there and you'll see here when I run through it that they're both now rolling and they're doing their thing and if you want multiple copies, just hold down the Alt or the Option key push up and just make duplicates of this. So I'm going to go ahead and, okay, I made a duplicate. I'm going to click on that duplicate. It's going to take a second here. Hang on. Because this is very, 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 very uh, program and processor intensive. So I'm going to go ahead and now let's see if I can move him. There we go. I got another copy of him and I'm going to move him somewhere down here. And this is slowing down on my system quite a bit. And I have a very heavy duty system. So this is a brutal monster so um, there you go this is how we create duplicates and if you want to resize them you can always just double click and then just grab the edge and just move it in and there you go you got a little guy um, oops never mind uh, and there you go that's how you do it you can make multiple copies of this as you see fit alt option move it there you go you got another one click on this guy Move them. You got another one. Here, put that guy there. You see what I'm doing, guys? That's how you make clones inside Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. And hopefully that wasn't too long. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.